I learned to cook cotton sour soup from a Chinese master chef. I'll share with you this recipe. It will taste better than any takeout. Can you guess where the spiciness of cotton sour soup is coming from? <laughs> Stay tuned and let me tell you more about it. Welcome to Sicily Asian Home Cooking. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love hot and sour soup. And this recipe is so, so good. Just give it a try, you won't regret it. Add the de-vended shrimp and scallops. You can also replace them with chicken or pork. Season them with a pinch of salt and white pepper. Mix together the first seasoning. Add the soy sauce and salt. We will add this seasoning first because it is the base taste of the soup. Now we're going to mix together the second seasoning. Add the dark soy sauce, jinjiang vinegar, white pepper, and sesame oil. And we will add this one at the end so the color and the taste of the soup will be right to the point without evaporation. I first learned to cook hot and sour soup with the Chinese master chef Wu in 2014. He always reminded me to treat every ingredient with respect, care, and compassion. I have prepared all these ingredients ahead of time. I'll show you a close-up as we cook. Here, I do want to talk a little bit more about this carrots right here. When I first learned to cook, Chef Lo would ask me to julienne piles and piles of carrots. As you can imagine in the beginning, I didn't just cut the carrots. I also cut my fingers so many times. In a large pot over high heat, add the chicken stock. Bring it to a boil. Add the first seasoning and mix well. Add the fresh shoot tiki mushrooms, fresh wood deer mushrooms, bamboo shoots, carrots, and ginger. Boil for about 4 minutes until softened. There are so many different types of soup. Please comment below and let me know what your favorite soup is. Add the soft tofu, shrimp, and scallops. Cook for about 1 minute. And now we're going to add the cornstarch slurry inside. We have 3 tablespoons of cornstarch and 9 tablespoons of water. Mix until the soup is slightly thickened. Now is the time to add the second sauce inside. Bring it to a boil. Add the beaten eggs. Let it set and stir gently. Lastly, add the scallions. Here's the answer we have been waiting for. The spiciness of hot and sour soup comes from the white pepper. When you prepare hot and sour soup at home, you get to use fresh ingredients and tailor it to your preferences. There are also more benefits to it. For example, reduce the sodium, increase the affordability, and valuable time with your loved ones. Happy cooking and enjoy! I love this hot and sour soup. It's just so delicious with so many healthy ingredients inside. It was also one of the few things I could still eat during my pregnancy. It always brings back my appetite. So good. If you also like to make a super tasty egg drop soup recipe, check out the video right here. It is so good. And please subscribe, follow, and like for more easy to follow Asian recipes. I'll see you again soon. Bye! Would you like to watch exclusive behind the scene content? Also receive early access to my written recipes and short videos. Please become a supporter. Your support helps me in creating more easy to follow Asian recipes. You are amazing.